Okay, let's see. Hello and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Today's video will be a little bit different. I don't have anything to show you. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to show it to you in this video. Um, but I had mentioned this before and I love watching YouTube videos on certain subjects. And one of those subjects is sewing and embroidery. I also enjoy some medical channels, which I'm not going to talk about today. Um, and um, maybe that's maybe, oh, and some makeup and hair uh, videos. I've got a few people I listen to, but most of the videos that I subscribe to are sewing and embroidery videos. And I wanted to go through and I'm going to try on a lot of these to put an insert in of a um, screenshot of the site. And you can go through and watch a couple of videos and see if it's anything that suits you and that you'd like to subscribe to. I have no connection with uh, any of these um, vloggers or videographers who do YouTube um, the only thing is I subscribe to them. So the first one I recently found, and I'm going to put all the links below also and spell these out for you, uh, but you're welcome to write them down or stop and research if you want to. Um, the first one, and these are in no particular order at all. As a matter of fact, this is a recent one that I found. It's um, called So Old Fashioned. It's S-E-W and then the word old fashioned. And when you go to YouTube in the YouTube search box, if you just type that in, you'll find the YouTuber. Um, this person is Australian and it's interesting to watch her because she is in the middle of summer and uh, it's very warm there. This woman does a very nice job of showing her vintage patterns and things that she has made. Um, I like her a lot, and um, so uh, I'm glad I found her channel. Next is somebody who's probably better known. Her site is called Gabberdashery, G-A-B-B-E-R-D-A-S-H-E-R-Y. Um, her real name is Gabby Young. She is a seamstress. She doesn't mind challenging projects. Um, she doesn't mind when she messes up, which is what I like about her. She's very sweet, very funny. Um, sometimes she'll have guests, other women she knows who sew. Um, and she is a very talented singer, as is her husband. Right? Her husband is a musician. And they, at least during the holidays, I know I watched this channel last year, and she does a Vlogmas, and you get to follow her around and watch her and listen to her sing. She has a, a beautiful voice. And she's from England. She lives in London. And I really, I really like her channel. Third is Professor Pincushion. She's pretty well known. I think she's branched off now and she has a um, channel that you can pay for. Um, she has a website. She is really good with how to's. Um, how to do a rolled hem, how to make a zippered pouch, how to um, put in a collar. Um, she's just a wealth of information. She has contests periodically on her site, um, but she's, she's a, a, a good seamstress and she's good to watch. Another new one I have found is a woman... Um, and I will spell her name. It's Susanna Forsyth, and it's S-U-Z-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Forsyth, F-O-R-S-Y-T-H-E. She lives in Northern Ireland. I think the name of her channel has gone through some changes. She has a small child, and she sews while her son is napping. She's in Northern Ireland, um, and she sews mostly for herself. I think she's bought some fabrics for her son, although I've not yet watched one. I'm kind of go back in YouTube. You can go back and watch the oldest video first and then work your way forward if you so desire. And I kind of started doing that with her, but I'm, I have not gone through all her videos. They're very nice. 
Um, another one is Abby Morris Designs, and it's A-B-B-E-Y Morris Designs. She lives in New England. She's a young girl. Um, she has a lovely, she has the blackest poodle I have ever seen in my life. I have a hard time sometimes understanding her, but um, nevertheless, her channel is very nice and uh, you kind of get a glimpse of what it's like to live down under uh, on the other side of the equator. She sews, she bakes, she uh, crochets, I think, uh, which I don't do. But check her out, she's a, a new subscription for me. The Sewing Report, actually it's Sewing Report with no V. This is a woman out of Atlanta. She recently quit her full-time job to sew. Um, it was on her channel that, that's my phone, I apologize. Um, she recently quit her full-time job to do the sewing report full-time. Um, she's a pretty accomplished seamstress. Um, she, she is almost a news reporter for sewing. Um, I know it was on her channel that I learned that the, the corporation that owns Vogue, Butterick, and McCall's, and there might be another one in there, um, bought Simplicity. So now it's, it's huge. And so she talked about whether or not that was a good thing or a bad thing or what might change, what might get worse, better. So she's, um, she's, she's good. Um, the Crafty Gemini, she's also talented. She has her own business and um, she does very good tutorials. She does do some quilting, which I do not do. The Sewing Room, um, this is also new for me. This is a woman who's been sewing for a long time. She does quilt. Um, she does other things. She, I think she uses her husband as her videographer and um, I like her channel. She's um, an older lady like I am, and uh, I enjoy her. Another one is Harb D. Lou, and it's spelled H-A-R-B-D-L-O-U. She's a woman out of Tennessee. From watching her channel, I've learned that she works full time. She only sews on the weekend. She is not afraid to tackle complex patterns like costumes and things like that. And she really does a nice job. Hobbling Handmade. This is uh, a young woman who, college age, she is um, disabled with some sort of tissue, cutaneous tissue, and maybe, I'm not sure if it's autoimmune or what, but she um, is home, um, I guess, most of the time and sews. And she, describes herself as handicapped uh, quite frequently. Um, so um, so I'm not using that term. That's the term that she uses for herself. Um, but she um, is interesting. I like her channel too, even though she's quite young. Um, another one is Inside the Hem. And at this moment, I can't think, oh yes, I know this is a girl, a woman out of Charleston. Um, she sews very well. She sews for herself and um, she used to be paired up with another woman and I think the other woman, um, I think her work, her job and her family uh, took priority and I think she uh, had to um, leave and um, take care of some other things. Um, let's see, Joy Bernhardt, J-O-Y, and her last name is B-E-R-N-H-A-R-D-T. This is a woman who uh, she's an older woman, maybe a little bit older than I am. She is a quilter, but she also sews. Um, and uh, she, she and her husband have a business, and she films from one house or the other. They have a couple of houses. I think she's out in Oklahoma. Um, last Stitch. I cannot remember what that one is. Um, I did write it down, so it is one I subscribe to, but I can't tell you anything about it right now. Man sewing, it's unusual to find men who sew, or at least who have sewing channels. He does quilt also, but he does other things. 
Um, he is quite masculine. He sews with uh, leather. He'll do uh, wallets and um, things like that. He's he's good. He talks real fast. He I think he drinks a lot of caffeine, but he's he's quite talented. He has a nice studio set up too. Melly sews. Um, I think she's fairly popular. She can give you measurements of things of, of patterns that she has self drafted and she gives you close-ups of um, of the tutorials so you can see exactly what she's doing step by step i enjoy that sewn s-e-w-n i cannot remember what that one is either at the moment so over it i believe this is a woman with a shop in london um, i think so she's a businesswoman and I think she also um, drafts her own patterns and sells them. My girlfriend's quilt shop. Not sure about this one. If you're a quilter, I'm sure it's a two thumbs up. I used to watch their twin women and I swear they have to be related to Donnie and Marie Osmond because they, they could be you know, sisters to, to them. Um, it is mostly, mostly quilting, but they have a shop and I believe they sell fabric, but, um, I'm going to stick with it a little bit longer. And, um, they used to do a show for, I think it was for HGTV. It was for a big company and now they have their own company. So it's a little bit different. And I'm not sure again, if I'm going to stay with it, if it's just quilting. Um, let's see so very easy um can't remember what that is either at the moment debbie shore and it's d-e-b-b-i-e-s-h-o-r-e -E -E. she is a very accomplished seamstress she does wonderful things she um, drafts her own patterns she does um, pocketbooks handbags um, very close up um, tutorials step by step she's she's wonderful and another new one that i've subscribed to i'll spell it i'm not sure how to say it um, um me chow makes it's spelled m-i-c-h-o-u-m-a-k-e-s she is also an older lady like i am she sews for herself um, she sews with knits oftentimes and um, she's adorable she is very good at what she does and she sews out of her home and um, I I like her channel a lot it's a new subscription for me but I am sticking with her I made a comment on one of her videos and she responded right away um, and that's it um, and there are more there's one called dad sews I didn't write that one down he is out of Virginia Beach I believe um, that's worth checking out um, and again, none of these were in any particular order. Some of these folks have very few subscribers like me. Um, others have thousands of subscribers. So check those out and I'll be back. I have been sewing. I've made a few things. I've got a couple of pattern reviews. So I will see you later. It's um, a day before my birthday and um, getting close to Christmas. So I hope your preparations are going well and that you're staying warm if you live in the well, even if you live in the south because it's been quite chilly here so take care and i will see you very soon thank you for watching